It's time for an update on the 39 project here. This Zephyr is coming right along. Yeah, uh, we've, we're now back to the point where we've, all the body work is accomplished. Uh, of course, the doors have been fitted, the, the metal repair that was done to, the, uh, to the, the doors has been accomplished and put back, and now all that's been fitted to the car and all the necessary uh, fitment from the doors to the quarters to the front. And, uh, and now we're at the stage where earlier on, in order to build, we use a tiny bit of, of filler as we talked about earlier, but we also use a gray primer, which is a filler primer. It's a catalyzed material, so it doesn't shrink later and crack. We encountered a fair amount of the old style lacquer on this car, which is great for years and years, but then it just starts to give it up and it cracks and draws and uh, we, all, that, all we have here now is catalyzed material that is super stable. It'll last many, many years. So we're, we're, we had to kind of get back to the base and then build back out again. So now we're at the stage where the body work is done. The, uh, the, 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 a lot of the block sanding is accomplished. So now what we're gonna do is, as you notice, we got these two colors. And when you'll block sand this, you'll immediately see uh, that it'll start to turn one color. When it turns that one color, then he, he knows that he's got that part of it done and he can move on. So he'll take his, his larger grit sandpapers on a, on a sanding block and we use blocks that are two or three feet long. When you're dealing with, that's one of the secrets to really good bodywork um, is use really long blocks. Um, flexible blocks that are two and three feet long, I've even seen them longer than that. When you get into these areas, of course, you can't use a giant block if, you're, if it's only that long. But you yeah. have to have a series of them so that you can switch as you go. And uh, for instance, an area like right here, if you're gonna, if you're gonna block sand that direction, look how flat that is. That could be a two foot block. Right. So you're gonna get a lot better job a lot quicker with a bigger block than you are sitting here digging trenches with a little block. Sure. So, you wanna use the biggest block you can. On a round car, of course, you're limited to a large degree. But in this area here, on the roof, on the side, and the quarters, you can get a, a really good sized block sander in there uh, and just hand block it, always at a bias, always 45 degrees as we talked about earlier. Mm -hmm. And then um, that'll be really the prep for the paint and then we'll move right on to paint. Um, this, this car is almost all the body work's done. We're, we got the door jams uh, cleaned up. We got a certain amount of the engine compartment that we're gonna pay attention to. Um, this had to be body finished. This was really nasty. Um, and, and, and of course, this is an area too that you see a lot of people pull up short and they, they don't really spend enough attention to this particular frame of where the, where the hood comes down. And it's very visible when you open the hood. Yeah. So we want to, we, we body finished all that and we're gonna get, a, get a, a, a good resolution on that. Also, we want to spend some time, if you notice, he's, uh, he's done a lot of work cleaning up the inside of the hood, which is kind of extra work on a lot of cars, but if you look, look at one done this way, yeah. you know why it's important. And when you open the car hood on a, on a V12 car, you're, the, the engine is a much bigger part of the equation than it would be normal. I mean, It's it, a yes. big attraction, let's yeah. face it. Well, a lot of people uh, focus on engines, but this is a, a particularly large and very, very attractive motor. So. It, it's it's really it's calling card. So we gotta when we gotta expect that when people are gonna look at this car, they're gonna want to see the engine, yeah. and they're gonna want to see they don't want to see an old nasty firewall and stuff peeling off the bottom of the hood. So right, right. we had to spend some time and get that nice. And uh, he did a beautiful job of this. You can see how crisp all these details are. Yeah, that's, um, that's truly this, impressive. You know, obviously, we're stripped down to bare metal, but 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 no no real. A uh, serious amount of filler was used so that... I mean, the underside of the hood looks like a showpiece. Well, it, it looks as good as a lot of people's outside of their car. Yeah, right. But, uh, but it's amazing. because it, it, it desires it and it gets it. Yeah. So we're getting pretty close now um, to that. The primer that we got was eye-wateringly expensive. Mm -hmm. I actually called my supplier and he informed me that red primer is considered to be just like any other paint. That okay. It's not, in the old days, there was, red primer was a, an option. Now, vir virtually no one uses it. Well, if we use a gray primer and a red top, which is translucent, 
you're going to see through that red to the gray. Well, we can't have that. So yeah, so it's finishing we, in a red color. We have to finish the car in this yeah. in this uh, dark oxide red, so that when we put the translucent red on it, 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 it you look through the translucent into the red below it, and yeah. it's consistent and it's beautiful and it has a sense of depth. Right. If we were to do it gray, it would it would really just kill everything. Now, on this particular project. The, uh, the engine was already in pretty good shape, is that right? Yeah, the engine's great. So we're there's just not gonna, that much going on? No, we're going to take it out, clean it up, do some dress up on it, and put it back in. Uh, okay. I, I wouldn't be a bit surprised if it's in the original build from the factory. No um, kidding. Wow. We, as you recall in our earlier show, we, we actually drove the car, drove beautifully. And yeah. um, so, no, you don't want to mess with something. It's working um, well, leave it yeah, alone. Yeah, there's no point to that. I mean, just to spend money and time time being the more important element. Um, yeah. So, yeah, we're gonna we're just gonna take the motor out, clean it up, repair any kind of leaks, put new gaskets on it, paint it, put it right back in. We'll yeah. probably dress it up with, uh, with a multiple carb setup. And, uh, and really, you know, it, if, if the factory built this motor, uh, only the devil would tear it apart. You yeah, know? there you go. Well, very good, okay. very encouraging. So it's coming along really well. Yeah, great. Yeah.